What's up guys? Welcome back to Boost Brothers Garage. In this episode, we are doing a ridiculous brake upgrade to the GTI. Stay tuned. This brake upgrade, uh, I guess, could be considered a, a budget brake upgrade. Uh, we found out that you can actually use Mercedes ML350. Yeah. ML350 rotors and Cayenne calipers, and everything just bolts directly onto the GTI. Thomas just pulled this caliper out. Look at this thing next to my foot. That is the biggest caliper I have ever seen. This thing is ridiculous. Look at it next to his oil pan. It's almost the same size. We've got the old brakes taken off here. No more backing plate, but it's a race car, so who cares? Well, it'll get cooling down. So. All right, now let's see what this looks like. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe it fucking bolts up. This is the top. Were they right? Yeah, this is crazy. Okay, hold on. I gotta put, uh, I'll have to put some white studs in. Which, by the way, these things are going away, thank God. Yeah, I Go hate the lug bolts. Going bye-bye. And just for you, for those of you that are worried about like what's going on here, these, uh, this will have a hub-centric for the rotor itself, uh, but they are coming soon. Are yeah. those pre-made? Yeah, they're just you, pre -made. you ordered them? Yeah, I just ordered them. Somebody makes them for this, uh, this upgrade, actually. So you get ML350 rotors, you get Cayenne calipers. The calipers bolt right on, there's no adapter blocks. Nope. And you just get the hub-centric rings for the rotors. Correct. You got a lot of friction surface with those giant Cayenne pads. And... And there you have it. It fits perfect. You can see the, well, kind of, the lighting sucks, but the pad is perfectly lined up with the friction surface on the rotor. These things are monstrous. We got our studs in, which just makes life so much easier. Uh, I think that's the... Gonna run a 15 mil? Yeah, 15 mil spacer. 15 mil spacer here. Yeah, the reason why I'm running a 15 mil spacer is actually because I'm gonna put two degrees of negative camber on the car. This car is gonna run with uh, full Continental Slicks. So uh, the reason why I'm doing that is to actually get the widest track that I possibly can. Maintaining the factory fender, uh, but the, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually have about a half inch of, uh, of inset on the tire once I go two degrees negative camber so I can actually push out the wheel that much. So nice. happy with that. All right, now. These are the wheels that I'd like to run, just because I'm a huge fan of 17s. Will they fit? Yeah, they'll fit, but it is tight. That is so much caliper. Um, so they, they tell you that you need 130 thousandths of clearance, and I have almost exactly that. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe how easy this was. Um, yeah, life is good when it comes to this, right? I mean, this is... You can't ask for a better uh, bolt up setup. No, is, ridiculous. Uh, yeah, absolutely is. So anyway, um, yeah, that's that. It's, uh, I know it's not cleaned up, but you'll probably see a little bit later uh, when we get in the build. We're actually gonna clean this caliper up. I'm, I've got another one for the other side. We're gonna probably paint them both to match. Uh, this is not the caliper for this side. As you can tell, the, the crossover pipe is on the top. It's not, it's not correct, so those of you who are gonna troll Please don't do that. Uh, <laughs> troll elsewhere. Troll elsewhere. We, uh, we know that this is just for mock-up. I wanted to see what it looked like. So um, it is a thing of beauty. I'm actually it's, quite yeah, excited. It's awesome. So, um, yeah, fantastic. So that's that, guys. One gigantic budget upgrade. Thanks for watching. See you next time.